Eh, I won't get the volcanic pistol. I'll wait. I'll wait for now. Okay. Let's go, John. We need to go and find Mr. Wes Dickens. Come on, horsey. Come on, horsey. What do you think you're doing, Mr. Dog? Hello. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? Pet, 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 pet. You stupid horse. Come on, man. Nope. Get back here. Oh, man. What do I have to deal with is these horses. Oh, man. Excuse me. Oh, man. Wait a second. What are you doing? Oh, I just shot that guy's hat off. Oh, no. Oh, no. I just killed that poor horse. I didn't kill any of you. I just killed a horse. Ow. Why are you shooting at me? I tried to help you guys, and you just returned the favor by shooting at me like a bunch of jerks. Let me see, I'm gonna find where this West Dickens guy is. Nigel West Dickens. Okay, I'm not really sure how to get to him as far as roads are concerned, so I'm gonna take the off road. Taking the off road. Taking the off road. Hey, there's some there's some plants back there. Probably some of that uh, armadillo green that guy was smoking. Some of that armadillo green. Let's go get Nigel. Let's go get Nigel. Uh, there's some birds up there. Eh. 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 Yeah, that's right, you stupid birds. Yeah, these guys aren't easy. Yeah, there it is, right there. That's right, you stupid vultures. Oh no! Oh, come on. I'm trying me. to get that stupid vulture. Excuse me, sir. You need help? <laughs> Mister, you alive? Fuck a fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Please <laughs> be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming <laughs> home. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm coming home. <laughs> Sir, I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You yeah, he must have gotten real reins. sunburned. I don't think I'm strong enough. Again, I have to take the reins, of course. Just sit up straight, will you? <laughs> to babysit all the people of this city. Babysit them. The closest doctor is in Armadillo. Oh, I know how to get to Armadillo. Oh, uh, you'll you'll see. You'll see. Oh no! Oh no! Sorry. Okay. Okay, I'm good. Sorry about that. I gotta drive carefully. He almost died on me there. Ow! Oh man, there we go. Headshot. Boom! Headshot. Bandits, hoodlums, the scoundrels robbed me blind and left me to die. 
I can see that. Once again, a victim of my own success. They seem to a man in a well cut suit if this happens. Do you know who they were? No idea. I'm not the kind of man who has enemies. You do know. I give so much and still they take. We live in an uncivilized and graceless world, friend. <laughs> Why? Why is he losing health so fast? He's gonna die. I think he just died. He just died. What? Retry from checkpoint. Please restart me at the beginning so I know not to drive off course. Because I lost. Yeah, good thing. Because I lost a good chunk of health on that. A mighty good chunk. Now we just gotta listen to him go over exactly what he said already. Ow. There we go. I knew you'd come. What? I knew yeah, I already saw life. that happen already. The falling off to its death. You're delirious and playing dumb, Let's make sure it doesn't happen hey, again. To my aid. Why else are you helping me? Look at you. Somebody needed to. I've been in a similar state myself not so long ago. Perilous times. Perilous times indeed. Give people freedom and they turn into savages soon enough. For a man who's dying, you sure got a lot to say for yourself. Word is my sword, sir. Without it, I'm lost. Naked. Abandoned. Mm -hmm. Without doubt. Horrible. There we go. There we go. Get back on the damn road. I can't talk anymore, I'm afraid. I'm too weak. Okay, let's see if that actually happens now. Come on, hurry. He still talked. He talked. He lied. There we go. I can easily complete it now. See, this is no problem now. Death, I embrace you. For Christ's sake, man, you're gonna be fine. Thank We're nearly you there. Into your arms. <laughs> oh, wow. We're here. <laughs> this Stay guy's a me. whack job, I'll tell you oh. what. Oh. Where the devil are we? Armadillo. We made it safe, you'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you, you're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir, and I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus, but if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for, for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for. Huh? <laughs> Here we go, we savored him. <clears throat> we savored him. Gave him to Dr. Quinn. Okay. I'm gaining fame, I am. I gained some honor, too. Um, I guess I could go and uh, see what Bonnie's up to. Where are you, horsey? Actually, let me take the stagecoach up there and see how that works. See how that works. Mr. Stagecoach. I like to take a stagecoach. Seriously, nine bucks. Nine bucks. Let us skip to the destination. I do not want to watch all this. There we go. Okay. Old Blood Eyes. <laughs> That's the name of that whiskey, probably. Whiskey, I'm guessing. Okay. Oakley Doakley. Oakley Doakley. Go see what Bonnie's up to. Banny. Come back here, horse. Hopefully it's not the cow herding one. I hate that one. I guess to get it over with would be a good idea. Here we go. Are you... Seriously? Wow. 
I knew it. I had to be. Mr. Marston, I've been hearing about your plans. Have you, Miss McFarland? Yes, from Lee Johnson. To settle here and build a life for yourself. I'm afraid those aren't my plans. See, I already have a life. Well, I had one, and I'm trying to reclaim it. Or maybe what you could say is that I had two, and I'm trying to end one of them so the other can survive. You do so love to talk in riddles, Mr. Marston. Do you do that, I wonder, as a substitute for having anything interesting to say? Probably, Miss McFarland. Oh, call me Bonnie, you fool. <sighs> call me Bonnie. He's not going to do it. Miss McFarland, <laughs> I'm married. I have a son. I had a daughter, but she died. Years before that, I rode in a gang. We robbed banks, trains, held people ransom. We killed people we didn't like. Bill Williamson was in that gang. Now, if I don't capture my former brother in arms, great harm will befall my family. Now, I don't suppose any of this is very interesting to you, but I hope it explains why I wasn't so eager to talk about it. No, I do understand. I had no idea. You poor 